Hey everyone, Carolyn here, a senior NLP engineer at Mentium. So let's say they have a blog and your blog has a search bar to allow users to find relevant information. This is sometimes done using simple keyword search and I'm going to show you how you can enhance this experience for your users. I'll be using Mantium to quickly build this enhanced search experience and share this live prototype with the click of a button. For the sake of time, I've already gone through the getting started tutorial uh, that you can find down here. And so I'm going to go ahead and make a new prompt. From the list of AI providers that we have integrated into Mantium so far, I'm going to choose OpenAI's Answers Endpoint to build out this prototype. And there are two steps to this endpoint. So it first uses semantic search to match the user's question or statement to the relevant part of the blog. And the next step is to use a language model called GPT-3 to generate an answer. So in this case, my knowledge source is a blog in the securities domain, and I've already uploaded the entire blog in this files tab over here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it. And this particular endpoint requires a context and at least one question answer pair. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that now. So here's my context. And um, here is the question and the answer. And again, this is based off this context right here. So now let's choose the generation model within OpenAI and the search model. And I'm going to enter some other parameters here, so some max tokens, the temperature parameter, and I'll add a stop sequence. Great. So now let's test out this prompt. So as a reminder, this blog is in the securities domain. So this would be a question that a user might ask in the search bar on this blog. And you're going to see that the answer that's generated isn't a carbon copy of the blog post, but rather it's a newly generated answer based on the blog post. And I notice here that it's not completed, it kind of cut off a bit early. So I'm going to go ahead and allow it to generate more tokens. Now let's test this out again. Good. So now I'm happy with this and I want to share it with members of my team. And I can deploy this prompt with the click of a few buttons over here. With this deployed app, I can share this live demo with other members of my team to gather feedback and also get insights on how to best adjust this prompt. So there's some sharing features here. So now I've shared this with the rest of my team and I'm allowing them to try it out for themselves. And all their inputs and the outputs of the model are being captured in the logging feature over here. So I'm able to see the various inputs that are coming in and the output of the model right here as well. So this is really important because it allows me to better adjust my prompt and it gives me ideas on what type of queries might come in to uh, this search experience. So to summarize, we're able to score text based on relevance and generate high accuracy answers from a knowledge base of our choosing. So now let's say we'd like to summarize the generated answers. For this, we're gonna connect two prompts using an intellect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new intellect. And now we are going to search, answer, and summarize. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do this is that I'm going to connect two prompts together. So here is the prompt that we created together. And I'm going to choose a prompt that I've created previously called summarization. 
So the outputs of our prompt will now be fed into the inputs of this prompt for the answer to be summarized. So let's save this. And again, I can deploy this intellect. so that my coworkers, my teammates can also try it out for themselves. Okay, so now let's take a look at the same search query, but now with a summarization. And so now we're mimicking a user going onto our blog, asking a question, having our language model use semantic search to match it, generate an answer, and through an intellect, we can now add that summarization on the end of it. So here's a summarized version. And here is the original version that we created before. That's it for the demo. I encourage you to check out our developer portal and looking forward to seeing you on the platform.